A judge will decide tomorrow if Evans landscaping owner Doug Evans will go to prison for fraud. You may recall a jury convicted him just over a year ago of using a shell company to win millions in demolition jobs meant for minority contractors from the city of Cincinnati and from the state. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains how Evans ended up in federal trouble and what could happen in court tomorrow. Doug Evans was a teenager when he began hauling mulch with a pickup truck and spreading it with a shovel. From that humble beginning, he created a landscaping empire. Now the future of Evans Landscaping, which employs 250 people and its successful owner, are in the hands of a federal judge. This is a, a person who until now was sort of an American success story. Former federal prosecutor Ralph Conan says the government will ask Judge Michael Barrett to sentence Evans to a long prison term to deter others from committing fraud. Conan is not involved with the case. The theory is the best way to deter is to make somebody who got caught and convicted uh, pay a dear price. Prosecutors want Evans to spend more than five years behind bars and pay a $250,000 fine. The judge could sentence Evans to a lesser prison term, order probation and no prison time. He will also decide how much to fine Evans Landscaping. Prosecutors want the company to pay a $500,000 fine and forfeit two dump trucks used in the scheme. The government also wants to ban the company from entering into any public contracts for three years. Those who participate in any type of public corruption will be discovered and prosecuted. Federal officials held a press conference to announce the indictment of Evans in 2017. This came nearly four years after the FBI launched its investigation into Evans landscaping for fraud. We will not tolerate these types of acts that steal from the taxpayers and hurt our community. Prosecutors accused Evans of using an IT employee as the front person for a phony minority-owned business, Ergon Site Construction, in order to win millions in government demolition jobs during the recession. Evans took the witness stand during his month-long trial at the end of 2018 and said he was innocent. The jury convicted him in December of 2018 of five charges related to wire fraud. Evans' attorney, Ben Dusing, tells the I-Team in part, we are hopeful for a just sentence so that maybe this can all be over and everyone affected can move on. The man wakes up every day and employs 250 people. And there's a lot on the line here. This case transcends Doug personally. Um, there's a lot of people impacted by this and it's serious business. But federal officials may be using this case as a warning to other business owners against committing crimes. Well, if nothing else, they're going to be looking for as long a sentence as possible uh, to uh, uh, deter others. So to make an example out of Doug Evans. That's another way of putting it. In the coming weeks, here at the federal courthouse, Judge Michael Barrett will also sentence five former and current Evans Landscaping employees for their roles in the fraud scheme. Paula Christian, nine on your side. Evans' defense attorney will show the judge a video at the sentencing hearing, which will likely take the place of live witness testimony. You can find out what evidence prosecutors will use against Evans at the sentencing hearing in Paolo's story over on WCPO.com.